The worst review I heard would have been at Camerano's. So Mark put this dwarf burger on the menu with peanut butter, egg, and jelly. It really kind of tasted like a baby's diaper. It was disgusting. He's clearly a chef that loves experimentation. Mark Camerano is driven by his own North Star. And he's six foot three. I'm five foot four. I thought they could kill. To me, Mark was very hesitant, so I knew that the way I could break him is I knew he didn't know his palate. Mark's burger starts with savory items, like the beef and egg, and the salty bacon enhances that savory taste. But then he blows the whole thing by adding crunchy peanut butter and sweet jelly. It changes the whole taste and confuses the palate. Being able to show him his palate mesmerized him. How do you develop your palate? Palate is the hardest thing in the world to understand. It's not just eating that helps you develop your palate. You have to eat intellectually. When you eat, you want to think about, what am I tasting? What are the flavors here? Try and create the recipe in your head. As you do that, you're conditioning yourself to actually create a food bank, a word bank of flavor combinations. When you're building a recipe, you need to think about flavors that match, and then adding ingredients that enhance that taste. Would you want bacon as like your signature party yeah, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody loves bacon, right? But why not change it up a little bit and use pancetta, which is an Italian bacon, a pork belly that's rolled in pepper. Love it. Adding bitter greens to a hamburger is a great way to enhance salty and savory flavors. Put a little olive oil, a little lemon juice, some salt, perfect salad. Really opens up the palate. You've basically taken something so simple and you've made it pop in your mouth. Oh yeah, it's tasty, it's not bad. Thanks for coming back and giving us a shot. Let's just say you're making lobster raviolis, okay? And you have all the ingredients in there except the acid and the salt and the oil. The actual ravioli, it's gonna just be kind of subtle in the mouth. Once I add a little bit of lemon juice, it's gonna kind of go around the mouth then once I put the salt in, then it actually comes down in here. So your actual whole entire palate starts to taste it. It's all about mouthfeel and what goes in your mouth. This is Andrew Gruel from Say It To My Face. If you want more videos, subscribe to the FYI channel on YouTube.